Birds and bugs experience time differently from you, seeing the world in slow motion. And every day for your dog actually feels longer to them than it does for you. I'll break down why this is the case and also dive into the crazy way that to your brain, time really does fly by faster as you get older. Not all animals process what their senses pick up at the same speed. Processing things faster means that you perceive the world in slow motion by our standards, while slower processing would make things seem to flash by you faster. Scientists believe that the reason animals process their senses at different speeds has to do with evolution. Faster processing is awesome, but it's metabolically expensive, meaning that it takes more energy so the animal has to eat more food. Bigger animals typically move slower and have a slower metabolism than tiny animals. A 2013 study in the journal Animal Behavior tested the relationship between animal body size and metabolism versus how quickly they sense the passing of time. But hold up, how do you actually measure the sense of how time passes? Cameras have something called a frame rate. That's how quickly they can snap individual photos and stitch those together to make a video. Frame rate is measured in frames per second, or FPS. Something moving slower than the frame rate of a camera taking a video would cause that video to look smooth, while if something was moving faster than the camera's frame rate, that motion would be super choppy because the camera couldn't properly capture what was happening. A similar thing for animals is their flicker fusion frequency. It's the speed of a flashing light where it starts to look like it's continuously on, where it's not flickering anymore. And an animal's flicker fusion frequency is a combination of the anatomy of their eyes, as well as how fast their brain can process the signals coming in from their senses. It's directly connected to an animal's perception of time. Any video you've ever seen is really just a series of still images. It's stop motion but the frame rate of the camera is faster than your flicker fusion frequency, which for humans is around 60 times per second or 60 hertz. But other animals have super different flicker fusion frequencies than us. That 2013 research I mentioned looked at this for 34 different animals, ranging from dogs to owls to salamanders to sea turtles to little chipmunks. They confirmed that smaller animals with faster metabolisms had higher flicker fusion frequencies, while bigger animals with slower metabolisms had slower ones. Several fly species have a frequency that's four times faster than humans. That is why it's so hard to swat a fly. Not only can flies see almost 360 degrees around them, but they're able to perceive you coming towards them around four times faster than we could see somebody trying to swat us. And that gives them a lot of time to react and get away. The flicker fusion frequency of a hummingbird is 80 hertz compared to our 60 hertz. So one second to us feels like 1.3 seconds to them. While on the other hand, sea turtles have a flicker fusion frequency of around 40 hertz, which makes a second for us seem like two thirds of a second to them. Dogs have a flicker fusion frequency of around 70 to 80 hertz, so one of our days feels like one and a quarter days to them. But I think the craziest part of this whole thing is that your flicker fusion frequency decreases as you get older, so you literally feel like time is passing you by faster and faster. Up through your 30s, you have a frequency of around 60 hertz. That's what we've been talking about. And in your 40s and 50s, that can decrease to around 40 to 55 hertz. And over 60 years old, that frequency can drop to 30 hertz or even lower, depending on your health and any eye conditions you have. So your flicker fusion frequency can literally be cut in half from your youth to your later years, making time just flash by you faster. The change just happens so gradually that there's really no way to notice it, just the general feeling that time is slipping away. And that change happens because of your brain just not being able to react as fast as you get older, as well as your eyes not working as well. Decreased retinal function. And that thought terrifies me a little bit. What do you think about all this? And are there any other eye-related topics you'd like me to talk about? If so, please leave a comment and please subscribe if you found this interesting. Thanks.